And I think this is how sexism continues on in 2016, right? For the most part, it happens casually, unconsciously even. Open your eyes and look at me. No, I don't think I will kiss you. Although you need kissing badly. That's what's wrong with you. You should be kissed and often, and by someone who knows how. The problem is that unless we do something about it, that is the way that the world will always be. <laughs> Sandy? Tell me about it, stud. In fact, studies show that the movies you watch don't just affect your hobbies. They affect your career choices, your emotions, your sense of identity, your relationships, your mental health, even your marital status. From now on, I wear the pack in this ah! 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 Brave and Hunger Games came out. Female participation in archery went up 105%. Join me for dinner. That's not a request. <gasps> Ninety-five percent of all of the films that you have ever seen were directed by men. Somewhere between 80 and 90 percent of all of the leading characters that you have ever seen were men. And even if we just talk about the last five years, 55 percent of the time that you have seen a woman in a movie, she was naked or scantily clad. Stories, and movies are just modern stories, are not frivolous. They're actually the mechanism through which we process our experience of being alive. They're the way that we understand the world and our place in it. They're the way that we develop empathy for people who have experiences different than our own. And right now, all of that is being funneled at us through the prism of this one perspective. It's not that it's a bad perspective, but don't we deserve to hear them all? How would the world be different if all of the stories were told?